What up my furry little friends? It's your homie Caster Troy here. It's been a minute since I've done a shoe video and it's been a long time since I've done a shoe review video because there hasn't been any shoes coming out that have been worth reviewing. So I figured today I would show you guys my top 25 pairs of shoes ever. So coming in hot at number 25 is this pair of Air Jordans. This is the Jordan CMFT Viz Air. Now this is a model you probably won't see too often. It wasn't that popular, but there's just something about it. I don't know what it is. I just really like this model. It's just, I like this cool, sleek look. It kind of looks like a freaking race car of shoes. It's just really cool. I love all the black patent leather all the way around. Of course, I like being able to see the airbag in there. And I really like the white tufted leather. It is really cool. Really cool shoe, of course it's extremely comfortable being a Nike shoe, and just like all this nice padding inside. Um, I caught wind of these years and years ago when they came out, and I caught wind just slightly late, which was good for me because being that it wasn't that popular of a model, I scored like four pairs of these for super cheap. Super cheap, I got four different colors and I think I paid, I think I paid like $69.99, which I think is a really good deal. So yeah, awesome shoe, love them. Number 25, there it is. Coming in at number 24, without a doubt, we got the Supra here. And this is just a killer bag of shoes right here. It's awesome. This is the Super Sky Top 1. Uh, it's the NS version, means non-skate, no skate, one of those. You ain't skating in these because they're too nice to skate in is basically what it means. And um, yeah, these are just awesome. It's the burgundy patent leather. I got these for Christmas last year. Freaking awesome, comes with a super shoe bag. This is how every pair of shoes should come. I don't care what kind of shoes you buy, every pair of shoes should come in a nice box like this with a bag. It just makes it feel like you really spent your money on something quality, definitely does. These are awesome, love them, comfortable. Badass shoe, number 24 right there. So coming in at number 23 is a pair of shoes that is definitely gonna surprise most of you. Uh, this is a great shoe right here. This is the Sky, whoa, this is the Sky Low. I was gonna say Sky Top Low. This is the Sky Low. And I don't think these lasted too long, but let me tell you something. This is a great shoe right here. It's so great that I actually bought two pairs of these. I bought, I found these on eBay. I think I only paid like, what did I pay? Like $16 for them? I think I paid 16 bucks for them. I got them and they were so comfortable that I wore the heck out of them. I wore them to work in, I did everything, and I liked them so much, I was like, you know what, I need to buy another pair. So this is the fresh pair right here. Um, I've worn the heck out of the other ones, wear them to the gym, wear them to work, all that kind of stuff, but if you can find some of these online somewhere, the Sky Low, this is a great shoe. This is a great shoe. Love this shoe, totally love it. So yeah, I could probably put this higher in the list, but there's a lot of great shoes on this list as well. So yeah, 23 right here, awesome shoe, sky low. So hopping in at number 22 is this pair of LeBrons right here. I really like this pair. <laughs> it's kind of fitting too that it's the, uh, the now the Golden State colorway. Yeah, what can you say? All about that Golden State colorway. I got these when they came out. Uh, I was, right when these came out, gosh, what model are these? The uh, LeBron 9 low, geez. It's been so long since I bought a pair of LeBrons. I was so addicted to LeBron shoes. I was, that's when I was at my height of like shoe collecting and everything, right before I got into Supra. And man, I was so addicted to these LeBron shoes. So addicted to them. The only thing that sucked about LeBron shoes is that um, every shoe that he'd put out, I don't know why, every single shoe would be a half size to a size too small. It really sucked. So if you bought your size in the shoe, there was like, a 50-50 chance that it would even fit. So anyway, you basically had to go to the shoe store if you could find them and try on like a bunch of pairs because every single LeBron shoe felt different, every single one. So yeah, but anyways, this is a great shoe, love them. Looks good with jeans. Um, and I, I didn't even like this color when I saw them online. I thought it was an ugly color, did not like it at all. And then I saw them in the store and I was like, you know what, you got these in my size? It's like, you know, let me try them on. Boom, they looked so good. They looked really good and super comfortable. One of the most comfortable LeBrons I own. So yeah, right there. Number 22, LeBrons right here. Coming in at 21, we got this pair of Skytop 2s. 
awesome, awesome pair of shoes right here. This is the Skytop 2 Cardinal. Let me tell you something. This is absolutely one of the most comfortable pair of shoes I own. Awesome, awesome pair of shoes. And you can see I've worn these quite a bit. I've worn them a lot. I love them. Very, very nice shoe. Very nice. When you look at them online, when they came out, it was like, eh, it was okay. You know, it was another pair of red shoes. A, a kind of a, a bland pair of red shoes because the red isn't like a striking red. But when you get these and you actually wear them, man, they're nice. They're like, they're not too loud. It's just good. Good shoe. So yeah, definitely number 21 right here on the Cardinals. All right, so coming in at number 20 from my favorite, my top 25 pair of shoes is another pair of Jordans. It's another pair of the Viz Airs. And this is the first one I ever saw. And this is right when LeBron was playing in Miami and he came out with the South Beaches and those things just like sold out so fast and they're worth like thousands of dollars. So after that happened, all these like different like brand shoes and like different like artist shoes started coming out with South Beach colors. So the first one I saw was this pair of Jordans. I love them. You guys might hate them, but I thought that South Beach color was so cool and I still think it's awesome. I really like it. So yeah, this is uh, just like the last pair I showed you uh, that came in at number 25. Just a different color. The all black patent leather, the turquoise blue upper, and the pink insole, or the pink inside action. So yeah, um, <laughs> this is the South, the South Beach, the Jordan South Beach, and I think it's awesome. Love it, love it. So yeah, number 20 all day. All right, dropping in at number 19. Got this pair of Sky Top 2s right here. This is the Samakaze. This is a dope shoe, if I can get it out the box. <laughs> this is such a nice shoe. This is rad, it's a rad shoe. It should be called the Rad. Reminds me of that movie Rad. Any guys old enough out there to have seen that movie Rad? Yeah, it's right there, right here. But yeah, this is a great shoe, great shoe. Absolutely great shoe. Um, what can I say about this, geez. Just unique, I wish I would have got the Aoki model, the blue and checkered, but I was, uh, it was a little bit before I got super, super, super into uh, Supras. So yeah, still great shoe, very, very, very comfortable, and it's a, a 413 model, not too many of these, well, actually only 413 of these were made. So yeah, awesome shoe, and um, yeah, love it, good shoe. Dropping in at number 18, might surprise some of you guys out there. Number 18 is actually, one of my favorite pairs of shoes, the all black, what do they call this one? They just call it black and white, but this is like total, this is the carbon fiber black right here. There's just something about this shoe. It's not complicated, it's very, very simple, but it is a, it's a, such a comfortable shoe and it goes with anything. This is the type of shoe right here that you can go out to dinner with, you can go out on a date with it, you can just do anything, like, you can do anything with it and it's not like too loud or anything. It's just, it's just a good high top, a great black high top. And it's just loud enough for people to be like, yo, what is that on your feet? Like, that's a crazy shoe. So yeah, it's not, it's not too in your face. It's not too subtle. It's just, it's a perfect shoe. And uh, this is my second pair, actually. I bought the first pair and I, this is the most worn pair of Supers that I own. I've, I've worn them all the time for years, worn them to Thailand, worn them everywhere, you name it. So, shoes been everywhere. I still wear them and I just had to, I found these for a really good deal so I had to pick up a second pair because it's a great shoe. So, if you guys find these anywhere, I would highly recommend the shoe. All right guys, dropping in at number 17 is another pair of Supras and this is the Society White Speckle Tough. You guys know this shoe. Crazy awesome shoe, great shoe. There's nothing quite like it. White all the way around and it's like, the whole shoe looks like crackled paint. And there's like little hints of like turquoise blue in there and splashes of like black paint. It is something truly unique. Yeah, I mean, it's crazy. You, you see all these shoes and it just makes you wonder why Supra doesn't do anything cool like this anymore. Like the newest shoe that they put out looks like something you put on the top of a Christmas tree. Have you guys seen it? It's like the, the Sky Top 2 like red tinsel edition. Embarrassing. So yeah, this is a great shoe. Definitely awesome. And yeah, definitely worth being on the list for sure. 
A rack coming in on number 17. We got another pair of LeBrons. This is the LeBron 10, and this is the black metallic silver TTL orange fireberry. My, my goodness, noir orange. Like seriously, there's like freaking 10 colors here. This was a cool shoe. Now I really like about the LeBrons. They didn't mess around with the LeBron shoes. You got an, every pair of shoes you paid for. I mean, they were expensive, don't get me wrong. All the LeBron shoes were expensive. But when you bought them, you got a nice box. I mean, it comes out like a drawer. You got awesome tissue paper. Every shoe that you bought had a different color tissue paper. Um, yeah, it was, you got a lot. It was, it was pretty cool. So these are freaking fire. Fireberry, they're freaking nuts. This model was the last good shoe that LeBron came out with. Anything after the 10 was like horrible in my opinion, so I never bought another shoe from them. Freaking loud, obnoxious, crazy. As you can tell, this is one of my favorite colors is that I love that purplish pink. I don't know what it is, and especially when it's on a black shoe, it's just like fire and it pops. Cool, look at the bottom here, it's so cool. It's got like this squishy LeBron logo. Really cool, awesome shoe, definitely worth being on the list, absolutely. All right, guys, this list is going by pretty quick. At number 15, we've got another pair of Supras. This is the TK Society Gray Patent Leather. Amazing shoe, absolutely amazing. What can you say about this that hasn't already been said? <laughs> you could probably say a lot. It's freaking cool. Um, it's all gray patent leather. Awesome shoe, number 15 all day. This is a great shoe. And it was cool, you know, you can tell it was an older model, came with the laces and stuff. I mean, yeah, back when Super was killing it. Coming in at number 14, we got a straight curveball here. These are some Iron Maiden shoes right here. My favorite band of all time, first heavy metal band I ever listened to, Iron Maiden. Got these Vans shoes right here, so. I know I got two pairs here, but they're all one. This is number 14. They, they can share the spot. So yeah, freaking awesome. We got the Trooper shoe, and we got the Killers shoe. <laughs> Awesome, awesome shoes. Gosh, I haven't even worn these yet. I bought these. It's, it's tough because when you buy certain shoes, like, they're so nice, like these. Like, man, you feel bad wearing them, but I gotta start wearing these, absolutely. So yeah, awesome shoe right here. We got the Trooper shoe right here. I love how it says Iron Maiden on the midsole. That's the best thing on the shoe, is that it says Iron Maiden on the midsole. And then on the very back here, you've got Iron Maiden stitched in the back. It's a great, I, I love like slip-on shoes like this. I love these kind. And on this one, on the Killers one, you got the Killers logo on the front, Iron Maiden on the midsole, same stitching in the back. Dope shoes, amazing. Way to go, Iron Maiden, keep it up. Looking forward to buying some more shoes. Number 13, this is the Society 2. This is like right after Terry Kennedy left and they're like, you know what, screw it, we're still gonna release the shoe, but we're not gonna put a TK logo on the back. Some of y'all didn't like this shoe. This made it down to number 13 on my list. This is a bad shoe. There's just something about this silver and this patent black leather on it. This is a sick shoe. Love it, love it, love it. And as you know me, anytime you put like pinstriping on the midsole, you've got me sold. That's it right there. Number 13, uh, Society 2, silver, black patent leather. Right here, love them. So coming in at number 12, we've got this pair of radii right here. This thing is nasty, I did a review on it. Freaking rocks, love it. It's sick. It steals elements from the Skytop 2, the Skytop 4, and elements of their own shoe, the, the Noble. Awesome shoe, love it. Number 11, so comfortable. One of the best built shoes you will ever find. I mean, it's just, it's an incredible shoe. I can't, I can't say enough good things about it. So yeah, number 11 right here, the Radii Prism. All right, y'all, coming in at number 11 right here. This is why this shoe was not number 12. This is the Sky Top 4. Damn, man, this is a beautiful shoe. This is the red, baby. This is the red, black, clear. The prisms are so awesome, but I was like, you know what? I can't make the prisms any higher than these because the prism kind of stole some elements from it, so yeah, these gotta be number 11. The Christmas editions, the Christmas Eves, whatever you wanna call them, awesome shoe. Very, very comfortable. These ones fit very well, and yep, great shoe, number 11, coming in hot. So if you guys have watched this far, you have made it to the top 10. We're at the top 10 right here, and surprisingly, the top 10 wasn't as hard for me to decide for some reason. It was harder to choose like 11 through 25, but 
Uh, yeah, we're here at the top 10 and dropping in at number 10 is the Decade X Skytop One. This is the shoe that got me into Skytop Ones. I never really cared for the Skytop Ones prior to that, but man, something about these shoes. They're a little dirty. I've worn the heck out of these. This is one of the coolest shoes you will ever find. Should have got a second pair of these, but they were a little too expensive. Um, yeah, what can you say? I did a review on these. You can go check it out if you want to. Amazing shoe, easily worthy of the number 10 spot. Um, just a great shoe. One of the most complicated shoes they've ever released. Six shoe, love them. If you guys, if anybody out there had the privilege of buying a pair, you know what's up. Great shoe, great shoe. All right guys, coming in at number nine, and as I'm thinking about number nine, I'm thinking about some of the really cool shoes that I left out of the list, like the Supernovas and the Yeezys, awesome shoes. But yeah, number nine here, this goes out to the very first pair of Supras that I ever bought. This is the Sky Top 2 Gray and Red. This is the shoe that did it all, that started it all. Right here, this is it. This is the one that did it. And I own two pairs of this colorway because I wore the first pair so much. And uh, this was a Journeys exclusive. And they just had like a super discount sale on them and I picked up a second pair like months, maybe a year later, so. Yep, this is the shoe that did it all right here. Number nine, easily worth a number nine spot. Top 10, no doubt. This is a Sky Top 2, red and gray. Love that red patent leather right there. We're down to the number eight spot, and I guarantee you this is gonna shock everybody on the list right here. It's even shocking me a little bit. At number eight, this is another pair of Radii's. Love the boxes. Radii, if anybody's watching, you guys have the best boxes of any shoe company ever made. You guys are seriously legit with the shoe boxes. Um, yeah, number eight right here. This is a shoe not too many people bought. This is called the Timeless Deluxe. Now, I don't know what it is. There's just something about this shoe. The Timeless Deluxe, I've worn the heck out of these. I don't know what it is. It just, it reminds me of like a 1980s breakdance movie. There's something about it. Like these are total like Michael Jackson colors. The shoe, the like silhouette of the shoe in the front totally looks like some Nikes. I mean, it's just like, it's like a mixture of so many different things right here. So easily, easily top 10 shoe. Total crazy shoe right here, but yeah, absolutely love it. So comfortable too, absolutely love this shoe. So coming in at number seven, uh, it's actually two pairs of shoes, but I'm counting them as one because it's like a pack together. This is what I like to call the holy grail of super shoes. These are freaking sick. I'm so grateful that I found these brand new on eBay a couple of, few years ago. Freaking sick shoes. I'm not gonna, whoa, no. I'm not gonna lie, I haven't even worn these yet. Like, it's just, man, they're just like, it's the holy grail of shoes right here. Just love them, absolutely love them. The X Game shoes, freaking sick. Supra, if you guys are watching, y'all need to step your game up right here and make some damn cool shoes. This is what you guys used to make. Make some more shoes like this. It's ridiculous, get on it. I'm calling you out, Supra, and so is everybody else. Make some cool shoes like this. Incredible, incredible. The X Game shoes, um, <laughs> first ones you had were these neon green leather with the black suede. Freaking sick, TK logo in the back. I mean, this is, I mean, it just shows you how cool some of the shoes are coming up. Like, if these are number seven, I'm telling you what, because these are easily, these could easily be number one. Ain't no question. In this one, you got the hot pink, kind of purplish pink with the black suede. Freaking intense, it's so cool. You put those side by side. I mean, that's, that's one of, it's the coolest pack of shoes Super has ever made, easily. Coolest pack of shoes they've ever come out with. Love them, number seven all day. You should be higher, but number seven, it is what it is, dog, it is what it is. Okay, coming in at number six is the most unique shoe package I have, without a doubt. I don't know if I'll ever wear these, I don't know if I'll ever sell them. This is a pair of LeBron 10s. This is the first pair of LeBron 10s that was ever released. It's called the LeBron plus sports pack with Nike plus basketball. Uh, what is it? Wolf gray, fireberry, metallic gold. It's crazy. <laughs> Wait till I show you this package, it's insane. Uh, what happened was you could only buy these through, uh, it was like an online raffle. You basically had to submit your phone number and then if you won the raffle, they'd send you a text and you had to be really quick on the text and put what size of shoe you wanted. 
And I mean, within seconds, like it was sold out. So like right when they texted me, I was like, boom, boom, I put my information in. And usually you'd get a call back. You'd get a call back if you had a place in line for a pair of shoes. So I didn't get a place in line. I was like, ah, bummer. It's like, shoot. And they were only selling these in like just a few places across America and Las Vegas is one of them. So I didn't get, I didn't get the call back. I was like really bummed. I was like, ah, bummer. The next day came along and I got a text from Nike and they're like, hey, we still have a few pairs left from people not picking theirs up. Reply back if you still want a pair. So right away I replied back and boom, I got a call back with my size. That's the crazy thing. With these like little, um, these little raffles and stuff, people usually don't get their size. They're just wanting to get a pair of the shoes because they're really rare, then they get them and they'll either keep them for a novelty or most likely they'll turn around and sell them for a lot of money and make a good profit. So I was not even expecting to get my size. <laughs> so grateful somehow I got my size. Incredible. Size 13, wait till you check these out. Freaking, these are the miracle shoes right here. Unbelievable. Wait do you see this. These freaking shoes, look at this. They come in a damn gem box. The box looks like a gem. Incredible right here. Freaking incredible. I don't even know how much I paid for these. They, <laughs> yeah, freaking incredible. Look at this. Look at this box. It's a freaking gem. It's in the shape of a gem. It's like this hard plastic case. You, you lift off the case, right? Lift off that case. Check this out. Lifting off the case. Look at the inside here. Look at this. This is like, this is real. This is the real deal right here. You got both pairs of LeBron shoes with velvet bags on them. I mean, are you kidding me? Look at this. Got velvet bags on these shoes. Look at this. Each shoe has a big velvet bag, has LeBron's signature on it. Take the shoe out, it's even wrapped some more because you know, it's like a gem. You ain't want to scratch it. Look at this, boom. This is like the freaking Fireberry shoe. It's awesome. What a cool shoe. Got extra laces in here. You've got a little logo on the side right here that has like the King logo. It has a crown with jewels. The midsole is this like off gray with black splatters. Uh, the bottom, total pink. You know me, I like them pinks. Yeah, <laughs> insane shoe. Totally insane. So grateful to own this pair of shoes. I said, when these came out, I said, you know what? If, the, if I only get one pair of LeBron 10s this year, just make it be this one. And freaking worked out, did it. All right, dropping in at the number five spot. We've hit the top five right here. And wouldn't you know it, another pair of LeBrons. These are the LeBron nine lows, another pair of nine lows. And this is fire right here. Fire shoes, these are the Floridians right here. Now these dropped way back when, uh, when LeBron was playing in Miami. Um, they sold out pretty quick and I actually had to pay a reseller for these because I wasn't quick enough to get a pair. I didn't actually find out about these until probably months after they went on sale. And the retail price on these was 150 bucks and I paid 300 for them. So definitely worth it though. As you can tell by the soles, I have worn these quite a bit, <laughs> worn them quite a bit. So yeah, it's just like this, there's just something like this color. It's like this bright orange crush orange. It's just really cool. And of course it has the pink on it. What is it with me and pink shoes? I mean, freaking like every shoe in this freaking top 25 list has freaking pink in it. Something crazy. Um, but yeah, the air bubble in there, it's just like, it's all pink in there. Pink, freaking insole. It's just a really cool shoe. There's nothing like it. Absolutely no shoe like this. But yeah, fire shoe. Number five, dropping hot, Floridian LeBron. LeBron 9 low, that's it. All right guys, only four shoes left and we're right here. Coming in number four is the Society White Black White. Amazing shoe, I've worn this a lot. Love it. This is the paint splatter, polka dot paint. Well, you know, I don't know why, why doesn't it say that on the box? It never says what it's really called in the box. This is the polka dot paint splatter something something, I don't even know. Awesome shoe. Uh, some of my friends hate this shoe, but <laughs> what are you gonna do? It looks like a shoe, a painter's shoe. It looks like a painter's shoe, I don't know what to tell you. It's like this nice tough material. It's got these scuffs in it. It's really cool. It looks great with just about anything you wear. I mean, you can even rock some shorts with these, I think. I mean, it's a great shoe. Back when TK was still doing his thing, got the logo back there. Uh, yeah, awesome shoe right there. Easily number four. 
One of my favorites, wear it all the time. Yeah, just a great shoe. All right, we're at the top three, and coming in at number three is the Sky Top 2 Decade X. Without a doubt, my favorite Sky Top 2 ever built. No question, amazing. I think this was called the Transitions model. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. Just love it, I love everything about it. I love it. These colors are incredible, the suede is so comfortable. The silver X in the back, I mean, everything about this shoe is a 10. A 10. It's the best Sky Top 2 ever made, in my opinion. Easily, hands down. Hands down. Would have liked to get a second pair, but like I said, they're a little pricey. I'm not trying to get too ahead of myself, but I've worn these a few times. Try to keep them super clean every time I wear them. I end up washing them afterwards, but yeah. Love this shoe. If any of you guys have a pair of these, you know what's up with them. Beautiful, beautiful shoe. All right, top two. And coming in at number two, we have got the Society Burgundy White. These are the Satin Burgundy Societies. I did a review video on these. You guys can check that out. I did it, uh, I did it a few years ago. Amazing shoe. This is actually my second pair. I was lucky enough to find a second pair of these about six months ago on Amazon. Because the first pair, I wore the first pair so much, they are, they're beyond repair. Like I've tried cleaning them and I just can't freaking clean them, they're so dirty. So yeah, number two, easily number two right here. I don't know if any of you guys out there have this shoe, but it's so comfortable, just a great shoe. I, I love the color, the satin, incredible. Incredible shoe, drop in at number two, yeah. Insane. All right, we've made it to the number one spot in my 25 most favorite pairs of shoes countdown. Can any of you guys guess what it is? I bet there's somebody out there that can guess what this is. This is number one. This is the mantelpiece right here. The mantelpiece of all shoes. The Super Society 2 red, gold, and white. This is insane. There's no shoe like this in the world. Incredible, you got this red material on the upper and the toe, and you've got freaking legit, legit reptiliage rattlesnake around the upper. This is straight rattlesnake right here. Super had to like find some freaking rattlesnakes to make this shoe. It's insane. And then on the back here, you got this gold baby, freaking gold, red tongue, and you know what? You know what makes this shoe number one? This shoe would not have been number one if it wasn't for this. The pinstriping around. Look how much it makes that shoe. If it didn't have the pinstripe in, this shoe would probably be, it might be taking the number two spot, but it took the number one spot because of the pinstriping. Yeah, there is nothing quite like this shoe. I'm not gonna lie, I have never worn these out in public. I think I'm gonna save them. I'm gonna wear them in a music video. I'm gonna have to do something because these are just like straight fire. They're straight fire. They are freaking straight fire. There's nothing like these. So yeah, this takes the number one spot. I know there's some of you guys out there that own these shoes. Uh, let me know what you guys think if you enjoyed the top 25 countdown. Let me know what your favorite pairs of shoes are and until next time, my friends, I will catch you later. Peace.